It is a purple champion. I'm okay with that. Thinking about a Viger, and he will lock that one in. That's going to be the answer to the Talia this time around. I actually like it. I, you get the ability to just safely farm up in the lane phase. You so are going to be Yushi here. Uh, Zayas tanking the first turret shot. So we're going to try and soften him up. Of course, it is dangerous to try and dive a Jax just in general, but four versus one here on the top side of the map as well. Looks like BLG might be able to get onto the board as Carrier wants to eat that great health. He does so, and Shun not going to be able to reset. That is Carrier locking that one down. A one for one on the top side. And in the meantime, Zayas just barely... Shun is now looking at Guma. Yeah, there are four members of BLG moving down here. There's the Flash Twisted Advance. Gets very deep underneath the turret, but the seismic shot is fantastic. And this time, Shun doesn't need a Twisted Advance to survive the dive. In goes Ona once again. Takes a, does a fair bit of damage tonight. And it looks like they will be able to get away from this one. Scott Free Baker making the roam down. Let's see whether the Baker can get his cage into position. T1 wanting to keep them interested. There's a flash out from On. And it should mean that T1 aren't able to get too much back as Shun taking a lot of damage. Still down to 100 though. Keeps himself alive as now Faker throws out. Meanwhile, they're looking for a repeat here. Faker sticking around. Yeah, uh, on in a bit of trouble here as Faker does move on down towards that bottom side. And that is going to be killed going over to Gumi Yushi. Just a little bit. Move Bin into the bottom side. So on been a little bit late on some of these rotations as a result. And T1 have been punishing well with this. Well, Zayas should be able to move down with his Destiny Gate towards that bottom side of the map as that wave is going to be pushed in. Uh, Shun, again, ultimate towards Faker. Yeah, Faker, Agent's who does grab. have Flash. Yeah, should be able to get himself pretty far away. Seismic Shove going to connect, though. Puts down the cage, but it doesn't huh. really do anything. Dark Matter flies down, and Faker is just dead. No Flash going to... You will get the Void Girl of Trade, but watch Bin. Will he stick around under tower? Will T1 look for the dive? Because there's the teleport. Yeah, that's a very deep one. That's that ward that we were looking at before as Carrier is going to make his way in. Bin already down to about 50%, and he does have the Counter-Strike up and available. That means not going to be able to find too much, especially with Knight teleporting in. Beautifully played here by BLG to just get what they can from the Rift. Ona going to be able to secure himself a few of these uh, Void Grubs, but that is only going to even out those, uh, that take. Yep, exactly. Splitting Dragons, splitting Void Grubs here, splitting Tower Plates. Looks like Zayas will be able to grab this turret. Plate's just falling down, so we won't be able to get the last one. Still going to be able to answer that first turret that was taken on the bottom side by BLG. They'll answer, though, with a Rift Herald of their own. And now, Ona looking to go aggressive, does dive towards Elk, but thinks against it, as now, that is a better target for the Culling. Gumiushi taking a fair bit, still able to outrange it. Nature's Grasp, gonna be used here by Shun. Let's see who we can get for it, as Gumiushi very far off to the side, and that is gonna be Ona going down. Elk dives forward, picks up the kill for himself, but he's now out of the fight, gone very, very low with the amount of turret shots he took. Oh, these Maokai ultimates from Shun in mid lane. Kill after kill, they take down Owner, they immediately pop this Rift Herald, and they're gonna hard force. That's at least Outer Tower down. They can get the second... Can they get the second charge off? Some Unanswerable. Especially for Owner, who, uh, as soon as he did get snared, he was just doomed. This tower gonna go down, though, as Faker secures that one. How do you ever control mid lane here? BLG, Elk and On, they push it, they roam up to that topside tower. Yep, Tidal Wave going to come down. The Baby Cage is there to try and protect his Gumiushi. The Piercing Darkness is decent, but he gets caught. Oh, Faker, no, does have the Seraphs. And that is going to keep him alive for the moment. Look at that value play, though. He's going to be utilized. That gives vision of this Drake, but I don't think they're going to be able to get there. So that's the Dragon being secured by BLG. And T1 slink they're back to the They're teleporting on Zayas. All right, yeah, Bin. He's looking for an opportunity onto the Twisted Fate here. And now he finds himself in melee range. Not exactly where the TF wants to be, but the cavalry has been called <laughs> in. The kick flash. It comes down the flash out. He snares both, but he's going to be able to survive the Dawning Shadow. And T1 not able to find anything, but still not able to, not going to lose their Twisted Fate either. T1 were trying to trade for the tier two on top side, but now they might trade their lives. Yep, another Nature's Grasp coming on down there. Arizona gets Twisted Advanced on. The Seismic Shove doesn't quite find the target though. And Carrier is once again extraordinarily tanky. 
Yep, goal card going to connect, but Elf not really too worried about it. And here is all of the ultimates flying forward. It's a decent gobble this time around, but the Tom Kench will not survive. Faker finds his opportunity, but he just takes a Nami, and that is not going to do enough to get them into this fight. Still flashing, puts down the cage, but the Baleful Strike will not land. And now there is nowhere for him to go back against the wall, and there is a killing spree. Behind there, Will Rush Baron. BLG, check it. They got a little bit of extra damage on mid turret as well. Cage goes down, but nobody going to get caught. Yeah, there's the Nature's Grasp once again. That's going to guarantee the turret. Very nicely done here. You can see that, uh, you know, Faker throwing like a, a W at it just to, to say like, yeah, we could. Look at the spin. And there's another Weaver's Wall to come through from Knight. Ona gets over. At the Nature's Grass should be able to get the Viger, although it does run out. Oh still, I think Bin with some free time should be able to take him down. Seismic shove not onto Faker, but he's still going to go down. And that is Knight that collects that kill. Team with Faker in the graveyard there, they cannot afford to defend their Oh, oh my, god. my god! The Devour has to be used here by Carrier, and he's going to get Gamushi out, but to safety, I'm not entirely sure because the teleport's coming in, and Bin just dives on top of him. There goes the bottom lane, shoved around his Carrier. Vision of what's going on here. Oh no, he can safeguard his way through. And Faker with that smite play you were talking about, it is very scary. Dawning Shadow gives them vision, and Ona goes in, but it's not going to be in in time. Kicks the tree over the wall, and then meets his demise. BLG, they'll take the Baron, and they'll look real good to win this Wait, game. Wait, the TP mid? All right, well, Carrier's making his way back, and he's tanky, but not that tanky, and he goes the wrong direction, one could say. Faker's going to turn up alongside him, and uh, just die. BLG are going to speed run the rest of this game then. Thank you very much for the extra kills. Thank you for the extra cooldowns, T1. And they're going straight for the base. All right, well, Kumiyoshi is going to try and defend, and it's not going to work, as this is going to be the base broken for BLG. Feels like T1 oh just God. can't handle the pressure. Oh. There it is. Rocks being strewn on the ground in front of Kumiyoshi. Isaiah is trying to do some fancy footwork, but it is not going to be enough. As Ona, he gets underneath his inhibitor turret, but he's thrown around like a ragdoll once again. Elk will be taken down. So there's at least some shutdown goal going over to Ona. And BLG, they're happy to have some fun as well. <laughs> Just mean they won't get the inhibitor, though. And because Bin was pushing the top side, won't actually get too much. So Tommy Ultimate thinks they're just going to make your approach a death trap. So, well, there is a oh. kick. That's just not going to work there for Ona. He's going to be put into a bubble and destroyed. Zayas moving on down the cage. Fantastic this time. But it's the resurrection and Carrier. He mistimes the Abyssal Dive. Elk gets himself out of there with the Relentless Pursuit. And there goes Faker. BLG are too far ahead. And they know it has now been flashing with the Counter-Strike. That'll be the ace. And that will be match point for BLG. BLG, the LPL first seed, showing why they were so feared coming into MSI, taking us to a match point against T1. Nexus will go down, and BLG, man. You were right, Kobe. You said it at the beginning. You saw that Lucian Nami, and you were like, this is looking...